On Tubi TV, I watched Laser Mission, starring Brandon Lee. Now, this is from, I think it was 1989. Is this his first movie? Or first starring role? I mean, it very well could be. Now, I'm finding out that Tubi TV doesn't always have the best transfer. Some of the stuff looks like it was recorded off of VHS. So I've got to wonder, was this shot on VHS? Because it looks pretty damn bad. This is a cheapo action flick with an almost incomprehensible plot, co-starring Ernest Borgnine, who is some kind of laser expert, who has been kidnapped, and Brandon Lee is some government agent they call Michael Gold, and they, they talk about him like he's James Bond. And, oh, hey, you're Michael Gold, and then they have a wanted poster for him. Anyways, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and it, that's probably for the better. Uh, Brandon Lee's very charismatic. He, he, he dons like different disguises, tries to infiltrate areas, uh, get this guy's daughter, uh, Ernest Borgnine's daughter, played by some chick I don't remember who's a terrible actress. And uh, yeah, he tries to help. Uh, she, I don't know, she starts doing stuff too, like she's shooting the bad guys, She's uh, she can drive the getaway car. There's some times where they've got some pretty decent stunts. Like, hey, real helicopters. You don't get real helicopters in movies these days. There's an extensive car chase out in the middle of nowhere. Real explosions, you know, can't complain about that anymore, right? So it has that going for it. Now, why is it called Laser Mission? Well, first of all, this is a terrible title, and there's no lasers in the movie. They talk about the scientist he has to rescue being some laser expert, but maybe at some point they should, I don't know, fire a freaking laser, right? You know, at least have the big laser array set up. I can't even tell you who kidnapped him. Looked like some game hunter who keeps obvious uh, effects heads in his, like, trophy case. And that's supposed to intimidate people. <laughs> it's like, give me a break. Come on. Yeah, so... Brandon Lee and a uh, blonde chick run around in the desert, loot some guys. They're fighting a bit. Then they hook up. And then they run off and they're trying to look for this professor. When they do finally find him, at the end of the movie really, they reveal, hey, that's not my daughter. No, this chick over here you've never met's my daughter. Bye. Uh, they blow up the... I couldn't tell if it's the main bad guy or his henchman. I mean, this guy dies like several times, comes back. You had this like comic duo who was like, I couldn't tell what they were. Colombian nationals, like, they were Colombian like military, I thought. Though one of them looked like a white guy and some kind of brown faced up, is it brown? Hispanic face, ah oh, geez. Yeah, they're, they're in pursuit of Brandon Lee, and they're always getting foiled. And then probably your highlight of the movies when their car goes off this dock, and it flips over, and they have to get out. And then the, the, uh, the chick who's like the sergeant, I think, she has a bit of a wet t-shirt moment. The guy's like, oh, you're a girl. I've always been a girl. It's like, how stupid is this guy? Yeah, completely incompetent. Uh, what good is that? They don't get killed at the end. You know, a bit of a comic relief. Stupidity saved you. Uh, Brandon Lee gets the diamond back and keeps it. I get, is he a mercenary? Because there's music throughout this movie going, he's a mercenary man, mercenary man. This is, it will teach you a lesson. Have multiple songs for your movie. You know, if you're going to have a song with lyrics, maybe play it sometimes without the lyrics. Have, have a little bit of a different interpretation behind it. Play it up with some different instruments on occasion. Play it at a slower tempo. Don't play the same song with the same lyrics all through the movie. Mercenary man. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, this is pretty bad, save for Brandon Lee, who he does, unfortunately doesn't really get to do any martial arts. But he's got this charisma, man. I forgot. You see something like this and you really think, this guy could have been a big star. Yeah, I know The Crow did some good work for him. 
you know, once he was deceased. And I think him dying had a lot to do with that revenue. But man, if he could have hung on, man, he would have been like that guy who filled the gap. Stallone, Schwarzenegger aging out, Brandon Lee right there. You know, he would have been there with Statham. It's just really unfortunate because he kind of see the star power and how it's underutilized. And I give Laser Mission one and a half out of four stars.